Yeah, here we go. Women's 200 meter freestyle semifinal, one of two. Pellegrini's world record uh, from way back in 2009. She just recently retired. She just graced us with her presence for, was it nine world championships by her? It was an amazing amount and always on the podium. I mean, a staggering performance by the Italian Pellegrini. This is one of the reasons why Medecki doesn't swim the 200 meter freestyle. She just got her medals for the 1500. She'd have to be running down here to get on the blocks to race the 200 meter freestyle. So obviously good event selection by her coaching staff. Dumont from Belgium will have lane number eight in this first of two semifinals. 23-year-old was 17th in this race last year, so therefore she's made it into the top 16, so she's moving up the ladder. You wanted to say this name. Oh, <laughs> from Iceland, Schneifuder Sol Jorundar Dutter. Will have lane number one. She's 22 years of age, did her best time in getting into this semifinal. Claire Weinstein, the youngster, only 16 years of age. She is six feet tall. At age 14, she left New York and moved to Las Vegas because they have one of the top high school programs in the country. So that's where she's based now. Erica Fairweather, the woman that out-touched Summer McIntosh for that bronze medal two days ago in the 400-meter freestyle. The Kiwi will have lane number two. She's 19 years of age from Dunedin. This is Nicolette, call me Nikki Patter from Hungary, 17 years of age, won the junior world junior gold medal in the 100 and 200 meter free last year. So now she stepped up from the junior level to the open senior level. Liu Yashin from China, 24 years of age, was seventh in the 2016 Olympics in the 100 meter backstroke. In the 2021 Olympics, she was eighth in the backstroke. Now she's swimming freestyle. She's never done that before internationally. Siobhan Hahi, huge star in Hong Kong, won two silver medals at the last Olympic Games and the 100 free and the 200 meter freestyle. She says, I can't believe it. I walked down the street and people know who I am and I'm a pretty shy person. There's Summer McIntosh from Canada, 16 years of age. Obviously, this is a big question mark going forward. Will she be able to bounce back after the disappointment on the opening night in the 400 meter freestyle? She's from Toronto. We've mentioned it many times. Her mom, Jill, was an Olympian top level swimmer, butterflyer. And Byron, she really attacked the heats early on. She didn't leave anything up to doubt. She went fast quickly. Her first uh, 50 was 27 low, and she never really looked back. Well, at the World Championships last year, there's Hahi. At the World Championships last year, Summer didn't swim this race. She decided to just focus on the other races, and then she let off a relay in a time that would have actually won the gold medal. So she does know this race. She just hasn't swum it that much internationally. Take your marks. It's the first of two semifinals for the women's 200 meter freestyle. 16 year old Canadian Summer McIntosh in the middle of the pool in lane number four, the upper of the two yellow lanes. She is not the youngest competitor in the pool. That belongs to USA's Claire Weinstein in lane seven, who beat. Katie Ledecky at the U.S. Trials by three-tenths of a second. Summer McIntosh getting out well. Let's watch this split time. Right beside her is Hahi, and it is McIntosh in 26.73. That's, uh, that's moving, all right? They're going out there. They're setting a very, very quick clip here. Hahi, as we mentioned, was the Olympic silver medalist in the 200-meter freestyle. Her dad is from Ireland. That's why she has the... Irish first name of Siobhan, her mom is from Hong Kong. Two Olympic silver medals to her credit, but she's been injured almost all of last year. She was hurt with a bad ankle injury and had to pull out of the world championships and a lot of other competitions. She feels like she's back in form now, and the kick is so important. We said that the kick may only give you 10 or 20% of your propulsion, but you need that 10 or 20%, and when your leg hurts and your kick and your ankle won't support it, you've got to back down, and that's what she had to do. Wow, Summer was 55-4 for the 100. She is still just ahead of Hahi. Those two are ahead of the field. Nikki Hadar from Hungary is challenging for third. McIntosh still in the lead, 124.97. That is a half a second faster than she went in the heats, and she keeps on pressing on the gas pedal. And as Penny Alexiak said, who, by the way, last year was disqualified in this race and isn't on the team this year, Summer McIntosh is all gas and no brakes. 
And that's the way she looks right now. Looks like she's backing off her legs just a little bit at the end. Her Canadian record, 153.91. She touches it 154.67. This is a semifinal, folks. That's a statement from Summer McIntosh. And boy, the last couple of strokes, I loved it. It was long, stretched out, just kind of, just feeling it, all right? Not breathing real hard. Well executed, was turning over pretty quick on the first length, I thought, but then settled into a real nice rhythm on the next three lengths. Good swim for Summer McIntosh. Very surprised by the American Weinstein. She was really much, much faster at their trials and should have been challenging these two leaders. Her best time is 155. Should have been right in the hunt for first or second place in this heat and is not going to advance probably. So one less person that McIntosh will have to beat come the finals. But Hawhey looking very strong at this point right with her and Hahi trains all over the world she used to be in a training base in Turkey where once she finished university and then that got shut down and then they moved to Israel and then they moved up to Spain so they've been all over the place which can be a little unsettling sort of like we talked about Kylie Moss has now set herself up and she's now ensconced in Spain and I think that'll be a good solid building block for her for the next year as it will be for Hahi if she gets settled into a good routine leading into the Olympic year. So about three quarters of a second for McIntosh ahead of Hahi, and don't forget Summer McIntosh cruised just a little bit there in the last 